What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. So I want to talk about something pretty interesting that I actually realized about maybe a day and a half ago when it comes to Super Mario 3D World. So if you guys have managed to buy both or like either like one of the amiibos for this game, which is either Cat Peach or Cat Mario, you will notice that well, specifically one of these amiibos actually has one significant advantage. So it's pretty much to the point where this game is literally pay to win. So when you usually hear the word pay to win, you usually think about some sort of multiplayer game, whether it be like maybe Super Smash or, you know, Call of Duty or something like that. When there is something that you pay for in game or, you know, outside of the game that gives you a significant advantage over like another player. But this is something that may be pay to win on a single player aspect of things. So usually when you buy an amiibo, yeah, they do assist you a little bit in certain games. Like for example, Breath of the Wild, if you do have the Wolf Fleek amiibo, you could actually use that to have a little wolf companion. But, you know, it only ends up becoming useful until later on in the game where it's literally useless and it gets killed super easily. You know, amiibos are just there just to give you a little bit of a boost. Not something to hold your hand throughout the entire game. But this doesn't seem to be the case because if you have the Mario Cat Amiibo, you are like infinitely able to summon this like inf I guess this invincible cat bell that pretty much makes you impenetrable and gives you the abilities of a cat. So just so you guys know, this isn't something that you could only use once a day or once like every hour. This is something that you could use on literally every single level with the exception maybe a few because there are some levels where you need to get green stars that require a different type of power up, like a fire flower or something. But other than that, you're pretty much going to be invincible the entire time. It took me until, I believe, the world star in order to, like, figure this out since I actually unlocked, since I actually bought these amiibos, like, the day before yesterday. So it's, like, it still blows my mind today to see that we have something that we can easily access like this. And I should really count myself lucky because I was literally the last person that was able to buy these amiibos before they sold out in my local GameStop. So I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. You guys are going to tell me, oh, you, you're only going to use this because you suck at the game or, you know, you're not really completing the game fairly. To be fair with you guys, I've already done this before. I've done this like twice and every single experience of that was terrible so you know having something like this to my advantage is definitely something that i could abuse and look i'm not saying that this game is like impossible to complete without it it is very possible like i said i've done this before many have done this before but like don't get me wrong it is gonna be a lot more frustrating if you don't have this amiibo so me buying this i, I just wanted to buy it for the collection i did not know that this like this was actually going to happen. I thought it was just going to give us like just simple power ups like maybe mushrooms or maybe a, a regular cat bell or a fire flower or something like that. I wasn't expecting something this overpowered. But you know, now that I have it, it's like it's hard not to like avoid it, you know? It's kind of like become my bread and butter for this game, especially when it comes to the special worlds because they are extremely frustrating. So just in case you want to see this amount of cheese, here's a clip. So what you guys saw there was me using the invincibility shell with Peach when originally I'm supposed to take out those bullies the normal way by pushing them over the edge. So like what I just did there was just I just skimmed through it by destroying them instantly without having to push them which is which is insane in my opinion. So that is the exact reason why I call this amiibo pay to win. Or if not, just pay to win a little bit more easily. So let me know down below in the comment sections what you guys actually think about this amiibo. Do you think it's a little bit too OP? Do you think it makes the game way too easy? Uh, honestly, in my opinion, like, it, like for someone that's played this game many times before, like, honestly, I don't mind it being in the game. <laughs> uh, but, you know, for kids, like, that are not really that good with platforming, maybe it could be something to help them out a little bit. But not when it comes to the special worlds and like there's only I think there's only like one level in the special worlds where you're not able to actually use this. And I believe it's 
the one where you have to collect those 30 stars in that single level. It was like the little gauntlet thing. Um, I believe in the Champion's Road, the final level of this game, um, it actually allows you to do it. So yeah, that is pretty crazy. You could just cheese through the entire thing. But do keep in mind in that level, you still do have to have some sort of platforming skills. But anyways, uh, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more um, Nintendo-related content. My name is Triforce Addiction. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.